we're going to work a bit further with negative exponents. First thing we need to do is just have a quick reminder of division with fractions. So if you needed to do something like this, then all what you do is you follow our rules for division by fraction, you keep the first one as it is, you change the division to a multiplication, and then you flip the fraction. And so that will be, well, 5 is just 5 over 1, remember? And so then what you'll get is 5 times 3 is 15, 1 times 2 is 2. So you get the answer of 15 over 2. The other thing I, you need to just remember is your fraction line acts like a division, right? So if, for example, I had 4 over, uh, let's make it, uh, oh, let's just make it 4 over a half then what that means is 4 divide by a half. Now you should be able to get that answer quite quickly just using your head. How many halves are there in 4? The answer is 8, but let's just do it using the process for division. It's 4, and you change that to a multiply, you flip that, and you're going to get 4 times 2, which is 8. Now let's get to what we really want to get to here x to the power of negative 1. Remember that that negative 1 as an exponent has nothing whatsoever to do with negatives. It is just telling you that what you have here is 1 over x. So the negative 1 in the exponent just tells you you're talking about 1 over x. Now the second one is where things get nicely interesting. What you have is 1 over, and now x to the negative 1 is just 1 over x. So like we've just seen, that's 1 divided by 1 over x, which is going to be 1, and then you change this to a multiplication, turn that into an x over 1, and so you've got 1 multiplied by x over 1, which is x over 1, and x over 1 is just x. So notice here, if you've got x to the negative 1, it becomes 1 over x. And if you've got 1 over x to the negative 1, it's kind of, this becomes up, it just becomes x. It's almost like it swaps position. Okay, I want you to try these two. Uh, so what you're being asked to do is to write them with positive exponents. Pause the video and try it now. All right. So for the first one, this negative here is just telling you that the whole of this thing here is negative. So it will remain negative. But then we've got to deal with the exponent. And what we've got is 3 to the negative x. We know the negative in the exponent simply means 1 over. So we've got 1 over 3 to the x. And in this case here, we've got a 5, and then we've got x to the power of negative 1 at the bottom. So you know that that is 5 over 1 over x, which is 5 divided by 1 over x, which is 5 times x over 1, which is just going to be 5x. Or if you want to take the kind of shortcut thing which you'll start to notice after a while, if you've got a thing with a negative exponent in the bottom, the denominator of a fraction, it can simply come up to the numerator and become positive in the exponent, which will be positive 1, and that we know is just x.